Right, out today we're here at Scotty Fry's on the basics of how to skin a sheep. First of all, you want to mark around the top of your knuckle. Then you want to run your knife down your pelvis, skin around the top of your knuckle there to make it easier to pull your hide down. Right, after we've skinned the leg, we've done both sides, hanging it up on the gamble. We want to take your pizzle out if it's male or female. Um, and then you want to run your knife, running it down like that, peeling the hide away, and just let your knife run down between the salvage and the, and the body. <laughs> Going all the way down through to your neck, all the way down to where you slid it. Rightio. Now, I'm going to show you what I've done this side. What I've already done this side, I'm going to show you on this side. Okay, first of all, down on your knuckle joint, you want to run your knife down around the bottom of your knuckle, or your elbows like some, oh yeah, no, your knuckle, your elbow's up there, um, down your knuckle. You want to run your knife along the inside of your leg, through to the point of your brisket. Rightio. Then you grab it between your legs to make it easier, it gives your hands free. You grab inside your brisket there and you just run your knife down the inside of his leg. Just like so. Keep going around his knee and then you grab the top side. Come up his knee and just, just keep peeling it away. Okay, now you go right around your knuckle until you got that part there like so. Now, you grab hold of your flap and you just pull it. Pull it back to its shoulder like so. That's, that's as simple as that. Now up here, you want to come across and you want to just keep marking your selvage just like that. Making sure that you're only marking your hide to keep that red bark just there on. Okay, now you've done that. <coughs> you want to put your fingers in there like so to get it to peel away. Trying to keep your red bark on your body, sometimes it is very difficult, but you just want to keep running it down and keep go on the outside of the shoulder. Sometimes, as I'll show you right now, sometimes you can pierce your red bark and you will go in between your shoulder, shoulder blade, and your main, main part of your carcass. Rightio. Then you, once you've done that to make it easier, you come back up here and you just skin around until you see that red bark there. You keep marking it, making sure that you're only marking your hide to peel your red bark away from your hide. Then you grab your fingers in there again and just really run your fist in there. Just keep trying to keep, keep trying to hold your red bark onto your hide. Sometimes it is a little bit difficult and keep punching right down, always traveling down. So therefore, you're pulling your hide away from your red bark. <coughs> okay, once you've done that, sorry, I didn't crack the leg off, you run, you'll find your joint, it's down, probably about from the bottom of your knuckle there, it's about four mil, four to five mil up from the bottom where it runs on your main part of your leg. You run, it's a knife, you just crack it off. So easy, so simple. Okay. Now you keep marking your red bark there. Like so. Keep marking it. As you can tell, I have left a little bit of red bark on the hide. Sometimes you will do that. It's not a really big... It's not a big worry at all. Okay. Now I pull down on this on your hide to try and release it from your body. Mark it with your knife around your tail, like so. Keep marking it, go underneath your tail, come down on the other side, mark it, go underneath your tail. Right, now you've got it to this stage. All it is is the simple fact of just pulling your hide, pulling your hide off and bringing it down. Okay, you want to just keep marking your salvage because up the top of the tail it is a little bit sticky. 
So you just keep marking your salvage, get yourself positioned, and then it will just fall off like a buttercup. Just like that. So that is your sheep all skin. Righty, now we're gonna do just the process of just gutting. Okay, it's a very simple process. First of all, you want to mark around your backside. Just marking around it. Push it back in. Okay, now spin your lamb, spin your lamb so the belly's facing you. Just mark in on it. Run your knife in there just a little bit, just to open it up for enough for your slice and your skin and knife to go in. Okay. Now you punch the handle of your skin knife in, keeping the keeping your guts away from your blade, keeping your handle there. Rightio, and then you just run straight down to the top of your brisket. As you can see, this one is a little bit blown up, but that's okay. Now you grab your backside, you grab the backside, and you pull it down. Rightio. Go back to your skinning knife. It, it is the easiest knife to use to gut a, gut a beast, pig, whatever you're gutting. Okay, you just mark down your backbone there, the inside of your backbone. Just keep marking it down and getting it all to fall out, like so. Okay, your kidneys, which are usually up in there, like so, which it's come out with the fat, that's okay. Rightio. Checking a kidney. You want to mark it. You want to open it up till you come to that coloration the inside of your kidney which is your filter you want to look for bright pink which is cancer to determine whether you throw the carcass away or not that's about all you really need to look for discoloration or anything of a kidney this one here is a very healthy kidney so yeah it, it, it's a healthy sheep rightio now we want to keep and if some people don't know, they do have another kidney up there, so they do have two kidneys. Um, <clears throat> you want to just keep marking it down, bringing it down. Okay, once your liver falls out, which is this part, it has a thing they call a gallbladder on it. Righty, -o. you just get, just follow it down. Just keep hold pressure on your liver and follow it down. Keep following it down. Until it, until it comes out like so. Okay, now your gallbladder, you want to mark it along and not, not let it touch any of the body, any of the product. <laughs> okay, next thing we want to look for in the liver, we want to look for discoloration, any pus spots or anything like that. This liver here is a very healthy liver. There is no discoloration in it at all. So, yeah, if there's any white spots, pus spots, or anything like that, that could be a numerous amount of things. Some of the white spots could mean dog feces, where a dog has gone and done his business on the grass, and then whatever he's carrying has come out in the liver. It is one of your main filters in your body. Rightio. Now, to finish off this, you just want to mark it down so the whole lot of you, the bottom end of your guts is falling down and you can just see your lungs. Okay, you just, so there's no, there's no main parts in the, still in the bottom end of the, of the carcass. You just want to cut it across like so. Let it fall on the ground. <laughs> now, when going down your brisket, there is a soft part there. It is just a bit of cartilage. You run your knife down. Just off centre of your brisket, probably about three to five mil. Rightio. Put your point of your knife in and just go down. Don't be scared to use your knife, it's that's what it's there to do. Okay, now you just keep marking out along your skirt. 
and keep bringing it down. Keep bringing everything down. Okay. Looking in your in your lungs, that is a little bit of a blood spot. It's been it has been sitting there for five or ten minutes uh, while we we're doing another sheep just before. Okay, so they are healthy lungs. There's nothing wrong with them. Okay, now your heart. You want to look for. You want to cut it open. Don't cut yourself. Cut it open and have a look inside, making sure. But that's just a little bit of blood. That's fine. Making sure that there is no discoloration or anything like that, making sure there's no pink spots for heart disease or heart heart cancer or anything like that. Just to yeah, make sure it's a healthy sheet. That's that's one of your biggest things. Make sure it's a healthy product. Rightio, so there, there isn't a great deal on the heart, just check it out, make sure there's no discoloration or anything like that. Rightio. Now all you do is you just keep going down there beside your throat and your airway bringing it down all the way through till the end and that is the way you skin a sheep here we are today at paddock to plate with scotty fry at his farm we're just here to show you we were just here to show you what to do with the sheep how to skin it how to process it not being scared to let your kids get involved in it because they're going to be our future of putting this fine animal onto the dinner plate so just to let people know that food doesn't just come from a butcher shop, it comes from a paddock. So here we are today with Scott and I'm going to pass it on to him now to explain what we've just done today. Yeah, thanks Bode. Um, I'd like to thank Bode first for coming out and explaining everything with his knowledge as an on-farm butcher to help show everything. Um, I hope, hope everyone took, took something away from it. They can put it to use down the track. But like Bodie said, don't be afraid to take the kids out. It's not going to hurt them. It's, it does them the world of good. It's our future generation, not, not just from the hunting side, but just from anything. That's, that's where they all learn. They've got to learn the right way, and this is the best place out in the paddock. Here it is. So, um, thanks, Bo. Thanks, kids. You enjoyed it? Yes. Okay. Thank you.